time with Niji guys through a full back bend contortion session. So we're going to start off fairly easily, you know, pretty much anyone can do the cobras and the cat cows and things like that. And then obviously we'll get quite advanced and it will be more advanced people. <laughs> this is kind of catered towards. But hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not ready. Give the video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. And let's get on with the contortion. The first exercise we're going to be doing is cat cow. So we're dropping the lumbar spine down to the ground, lifting the thoracic spine up to the ceiling. And we're just gonna move through this around five to 10 times. Then I'm just gonna go into some cat-cow circles. So just warming up the back, getting it nice and loose for the main back bend session. As I said, pretty much anyone can do this exercise um, and it's gonna just help loosen the back. And then I'm going into a child's pose just to release the back. Then I'm gonna drop down to my front and I'm going to go into a cobra position so you can either go onto the elbows or fully extended arms. You're driving the chest back and making sure you're squeezing the glutes trying to keep the legs as close together as possible. As you're driving the chest up and back try and get a little bit more of a stretch with each movement that you're doing. So you control the movement, you can raise up onto your hands if you want to or you can just raise up onto your elbows, depending on your ability. Then I'm just going to drop back into the child's pose just to release the back again. And I'm going to go back into a couple of cat cows. And then dropping onto my front back into cobra position, driving the chest back, fully extending the arms, trying to get deeper with my stretch. The last one I'm going to do, I'm going to do a hold. So obviously you do need quite a good amount of mobility to be able to do that hold. And then I'm just going to go into a full shoulder extension, dropping the armpits down to the ground. Now I'm going to go into seals against the wall. This is a little bit like the cobra on the floor, but instead you're driving the chest into the wall. You're making sure you're squeezing the glutes as you tilt the pelvis up and then you're driving the chest down the wall again. So you'll get more of a lumbar spine stretch in this. You also might stretch the shoulders a little bit and that's important because we're gonna be doing lots of bridges today. I'd recommend doing five to 10 of these. Now we're gonna do wall walks. So we're walking all the way down to the floor in the wall, driving the armpits into the wall and then you're walking back up the wall, coming into a front forward bend just to release the back and then back up and I would recommend doing about three to five of these drive the armpits to the wall so this is going to prepare the body really nicely for when we do our bridges on the floor again make sure as you're standing up you're squeezing the glutes the core should be engaged so walking down the wall armpits driving to the wall behind you and walking the arms up and coming into that front bend nice tight front bend now we're going to do preparation for the chest stand or chest roll. What you're going to do is lay on your front and you're going to walk the feet up the wall and then back down. So start with the knees against the wall, walking the feet up as high as you can and then walking them back down. It's a really good exercise, really good preparation for your forward chest roll. A lot of people ask me about how to get into this position and we're just going to do three to five of them. Now we're going to get into the chest roll. So you're going to bring the legs over the head and fully extend if you can and then come back. So you're rolling forwards onto your belly, arms are going backwards, extending, fully extending the legs. Obviously you're trying to get the legs all the way over the head into a full extension and then back. And you guys are going to now see it from the side. So I'd recommend doing again three to five of these. Rolling forwards, make sure the arms stay straight. Bring the legs all the way over the head, trying to obviously get the bottom to touch the head. So fully extend the legs and then back. Now we're going to move on to our bridges. So we're going to start laying on our back, hands tucked underneath the shoulders. The back should be fully warm and you're going to get into a good bridge position, focusing on pushing the armpits to the wall behind you, fully extending the legs and you should be pressing the thoracic spine towards the wall behind you. We're coming down, so we're holding for about 5 to 10 seconds, and then we're just going to go into some back rocks. In between each bridge, I would always suggest doing back rocks. 
we're going to go into the next one. So hands tucked underneath the shoulders, walking the hands in towards the shoulders and towards the feet, driving the armpits to the wall and we're doing 10 pulses in this position. Again, make sure you're in a really nice bridge position. This is going to help stretch the shoulders and the thoracic spine. And then we're going into some rocks on the ground. And this time, the bridge we're doing is walking the hands into the feet. So pressing up into a bridge again, make sure it's a perfect bridge. Feet walking into the hands as close as you can, and then back into a normal bridge. So walking the feet out into a bridge, and then back to the hands. Do three to five repetitions of these in a row, then come down. Make sure you rock the back out and grab a drink if you need to, so you don't get blood rush to the head. And then I'm just going into a forwards fold again to release the back. This time we're going to go into a bridge, but we're actually going to go into the teardrop back bend. So walking the feet all the way into the hands, you're going to grab the ankles and then you're going to fully extend through the middle. And then you're going to go back into a bridge, feet walking into the hands, grab the ankles, fully extend in the middle and then back. And then we're going to do one more. Obviously, this is a very advanced move, so a lot of you guys won't be able to do that. But obviously, if you can't, then just walk the hands into the feet and then rocking the back out again. Now we're going to go into limbers. You want to start with the arms by the ears and then you're dropping back into your bridge. Feet are staying together, jumping over until you get back to a normal stand. Mine's quite controlled, obviously, because all the handstand work I do. But you want to try and get that control with your back. So both feet together until the end and then you split them and then you stand up and you go again. I'd recommend doing five to ten of these. You can do a couple of sets if you want to. It's a really good exercise to work on back strength as well as the mobility. Moving on to the last couple of exercises. So we're going to kick into a handstand, then walk the feet down the wall. We're trying to walk the feet all the way to the floor. Again, a really good strength mobility exercise, also working a bit on control. As you bring the feet up, you want to go into a full extension of a straight body position. And we're going to do two sets of these. I'd suggest doing three to five walks. Try and get the back as mobile as possible as you walk the feet down the wall. You know, obviously, if you can, try and walk them all the way down the wall. If you can't, then just walk them to where feels comfortable. Never push too much further than feels comfortable when you're doing your back bends. You need to be really careful and then coming out that position. If you're interested in handstands, I just thought I would show you a couple of things which are possible. So contortion handstand and then into a ring from both angles and then standing Thank up. You so watching that video and I hope you found it useful. Hopefully you can either give the session a go or you can add some new exercises to your training. And I will see you for my next video. I will try and do probably a splits over splits contortion session and a middle splits contortion session because I know they're very popular topics. Um, but yeah, bye!